Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. Now I will go to NX Progressive Die. This tutorial is show you how to use a hem fixer. This is a tool. For example, if you have the cat geometry like this, so from here you can see that uh, the flank is bent, but it touching each other. So it I cannot use this. I cannot use this convert to sheet metal because it's it's touching each each other. Uh, so I'm gonna use alternative uh, way. The first is using the hem fixer. So I want to fix this one, and then after I finish the fix one, I go to universal unform to unform that that uh, geometry that I already fixed. For example, let me show you. Select flange face. I select the flange. Select bend face. I select the bend one. Now, as you can see in here, I using bend radius 0.20 millimeters, so it automatically create this one. So if I uh, cancel, you can see here there's no gap in here after I using hem fixer bend face it create gaps so the gap is going to be used to unfold this if I go into bend type and here straight bend ok select the first face or edge I go this one and the second bend face change the material second bend face now you can see I can unbend this ok now I continue with the side also the side is similar go using a hand fixer slang sec flash face bend face get gaps and then using universal form select the different face select the bend face okay now maybe it's gonna be a little bit uh, difficult for this side in here because when you see there's no gap and it completely overlapping from here to here now you see from this this is actually is not the uh, there's nothing wrong with the geometry just only the view I going to go to view tab face the setting go to ultra fine click ultra fine and regenerate facets sometimes it works sometimes it not but now it's working so it's better smooth now let's continue with the progressive die wizard hem fixer select face of the flank okay select the bend face now you can see it create gap okay maybe the gap is too small because I'm gonna unbend this also maybe I'm gonna use 0 0.06 millimeters so it's gonna be a lot, lot bigger so I can select all the surface inside here and here to create gap in here okay select faces okay click this one and I choose this and this part and this part I mean, I mean this that face. Select bend face. <coughs> Going to zero point zero two again. It create the gap. Click OK. So it means it's ready to unfold. Select universal unform. Select different face. One. Oh, sorry. Should be this surface. Reset again should be this surface and face and form okay select this different face and form okay now I'm select different face this and unform okay now as you can see almost everything unbent so the rest maybe you can use this one also select a different face and face S 
select the front face and then select the face okay now it's done so from the beginning we have a trouble to unbend we using a hand fixer and then using universal form we get the flat result for this geometry that's it thank you and see you in the next tutorial